Yo, 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 good morning. Grateful for another maggot-free day above the dirt. Um, today's Dharma thought is um, how extremely blessed and lucky we are to grow old, sick, and die. So before I get into that quick Zen story, a student says to a Zen master, hey, what happens to me when I, when I die? And the Zen master says, I don't know. And the student says, well, you're a Zen master. How can you not know? And he says, yeah, dude, but I'm not a dead one. So really, until we have that experience, any experience, we can't speak anything knowingly or truthful about it. But deeper than that, whatever you believe happens after you die, um, it doesn't matter in the sense of how do how, how do I live each moment to its fullest? And, you know, what we're going through now with this pandemic is it's an extremely transformational, transcendent spiritual opportunity. And that's not to minimize people that are sick or suffering or dying. Um, but uh, it is spiritual practice is really deeply rooted in realizing our mortality, you know, uh, the Gita 5,000 years ago is, you know, is uh, all about realizing old age, sickness, and death. The Buddhist teachings, um, old age, sickness, and death was, you know, the catalyst for the Buddhist, the Buddha going um, on his spiritual quest. And uh, it's really the uh, foundation of his teachings. There's a Buddhist teaching called... Um, the five remembrances where we chant, uh, I will grow old, I will go grow sick, I will die, I will lose everything. All I can call I, me, or mine are the consequences of my conduct, speech, and thought. And I'll get into that in a second. But, um, you know, we have a great opportunity now to turn this curse into a blessing by really getting in touch with our mortality and really... Um, putting it forefront in the con in our consciousness. Um, it's not dark, it's not morbid, it's actually joyful, freeing, liberating. Um, if we really have in our consciousness how fleeting and short our life is, the, the easier it will be to free ourselves of entanglements, of um, attachments in the material world, of, uh, of our egos, and um, and really give us a clear vision through the illusion, through our own delusion of um, of how precious life is, how how precious each moment is, and um, how much how we turn pain into suffering, how we can completely miss these great moments. So getting back to the five remembrances, you know, I know I'm not saying anything new to you. Um, we all know we're going to die. We all uh, value our mortality. I'm, I'm really talking about bringing it more to the forefront of our constant consciousness. And most of us, you know, if it's in our consciousness, it's in there in the sense that, yes, I know I'm going to die. But, you know, for me, I think it's... I'm going to grow old, I'm going to get sick, I'm going to die, and I'm going to live this amazing, long life. And the reality is that while death is certain, time of death is unknown. And, uh, you know, this could be my last day. We're actually all have, I can't re recall the number right now, but we all have a certain amount of heartbeats, give or take. And with each time our heartbeats we get one beat closer to it stopping. And, um, and and this has been poignant for me to, to, to have in my consciousness too. And it, you know, how many moments do I ruin? Um, how many opportunities do I squander? Not realizing that I'm one beat closer to the end. So um, in terms of the five remembrances and, you know, death being certain, but time of death being unknown, the reality is we're not guaranteed old age, sickness, and death. We're just guaranteed to die. So, um, you know, bringing to the forefront of consciousness the fact that today, this moment could be 
the last one is really what uh, all this teaching is about. Not that we're going to die someday, but right now in this book of life, um, our chapter could be closed immediately. And I, uh, Raghunath says, you know, in this book of life with trillions of pages, our life is written in a few words, maybe a sentence if we're, we're lucky to get old age, sickness and death, but a few words, boom, it's gone, slam shut that book and it's over. So um, that's what's on my mind today. Uh, I hope it was helpful. Um, and uh, I hope you have a, a day full of gratitude for being maggot free and above the dirt. Peace out.